Hey guys and welcome back to another UV printing video. Today I have some wooden coasters that we're going to print on. I have a set of four wooden coasters here and I'm going to show you my workflow and I'll take you from start to finish. So let's get into it. In this video I'll show you the difference in ink density making this more or less opaque. I'll be printing the coasters in my home office on this desktop UV printer. First, I'm checking to see how many of these coasters I can fit in at one time. It actually takes the same amount of time to print one coaster and two coasters because really the head is passing through there anyway. It might as well drop ink while it's at it. For making templates, I like to use Adobe Illustrator, which is great for crisp vector lines. We're not doing anything fancy here and it's pretty straightforward. I'll create two squares, round the corners a tiny bit just to make it similar to the coasters. And we'll do this in two layers. The first layer is the template of our two coasters and the second is the artwork. I've prepared some files and these images can just be JPEGs or PNGs and I'll just size them to fit. You can see that I can toggle each of these layers off or on. When I save these, I'll have one layer off and the other one on and save them as two separate files. Check out my very used template. I probably printed 10 different templates on here, maybe more. Honestly, I'd say that it's still totally fine to use, but let's get ourselves a fresh start so you can see all of this more clearly. I'm using a general cardstock sheet of paper. It was an 8.5 by 11 that I just cut in half. Um, I like the thickness of this because it's rigid and it lays flat really well. I'm going to tape around all the edges with some blue tape which makes it easy to change out without leaving sticky residue. You can see that it's a little bit too short but not to worry, the tape will be covering the area so we won't get the ink on the table. You want to make sure that it's totally flat with nothing sticking up because you don't want that to damage the print head. Now that we have this all nice and fresh, I'll print the template first. In VersaWorks, I have my template file here and I'm just going to print it on standard mode because they're just lines. I don't really care about the quality, so I'll go ahead and hit print. And that looks great. We'll pop the coasters in here. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm facing the grain the same way for both of these. Making sure that it's really aligned in there. I'll set my table height for the coasters, dropping the table to account for the thickness of the wood. In VersaWorks, I'm not going to change anything with the layout. In fact, I want to keep it exactly the same because if you move it, your prints are going to be off. In quality, you'll see the estimated time for each of these settings and we're going to change this to a white base with CMYK. Special effects down here creates the white base and I still want a little translucency that way we can see the wood texture so I'll drop this down to 70%. With our current settings, it looks like it's going to take about 14 minutes to print. This is what it looks like as it's starting to print that 70% white density. Right off the bat, it looks like a very soft, hazy white. The colors are still coming out very well. Alright, so let's go take a closer look at this. Okay, not bad. I can still see some of that bamboo grain in the background. This is the effect that I was wanting to create. This full color one though, it looks... I can't really tell so much where the wood grain is, but... I think it's because there's a whole lot of color going on and I don't mind it actually. You could feel the texture though and that's cool. You can still tell that it's a wooden coaster. With these other two, I'll print the exact same graphic but I'm gonna kick up the white density to 100% so I could show you the difference. 
back in special color we'll go into density and change this to 100 and it looks like it takes the same amount of time to print which is 14 minutes we'll go ahead and hit ok yes we'll override the first file and hit print While that's printing, I'll give you another close look at the coasters, including the edges here. There isn't any overspray, which is great. Let's have a look inside. So the white is coming out a lot more solid. It's pretty obvious to on the blue tape, it's really blocking it out. It isn't really hazy anymore, it's like a nice spray paint almost. Okay, let's take a look at these and see how they compare to one another. This one is very solid. I don't, I don't really see the wood grain texture on this one. Um, even more so this full color one. But they are very nice. It's like it was painted on. I'll grab the other two so we can compare them side to side. Yep, very solid on the left and a little translucent on the right. Again, 100% density on the left and 70 on the right. Now that I'm comparing these, you can kind of see the wood grain on the right. Very subtle, but it's there. Now that you've seen the two variations, one with some translucency to show that bamboo material and the other totally blocking it out, which do you prefer? Do you like seeing the true material? Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Bye for now!